we must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. Some U.S. intelligence analysts believe America is already in a state of war with the Soviet Union. Are Soviet spies living among us? 52 American citizens have been taken hostage at the American Embassy in Tehran. An unnamed White House official claims that a Cold War disaster could be just around the corner. Mr. President, we have two names linked to the hostage situation. Arash Kadavar and Kasim Javadi. Just give the word. It's time to send a message. There will be no more hostages. You sure we can trust the police, Adler? This guy's done more for less. He'll look the other way. Adler? Glad you could join us, Hans. You remember this. We cleared a move on the target. Kasim is in his apartment, but he's well protected. I can keep my men out of the area for 15 minutes. I hope you brought an army. We brought enough. Pleasure doing business with you, Hans. Come on. Woods is itching for a dust dump. We don't want to let him down. We're on the clock, Woods. Let's not keep the scene waiting. Hey, Macy. Party favors are in the trunk. Dipshit probably thinks he's safe. That piece of trash is a lot of things. But safe ain't one of them. Do we really need to take this son of a bitch alive, Adler? Kazim has info we need. Everyone else can take a powder. Apartment's just up ahead. Hans only bought us 15 minutes. We need to hit Kasim hard and fast. Let's go. Let's help him ring in the new year. Light him up, Mason. Go, go, go! There's Kasim! Kasim's headed up the stairs! We need Kasim alive! Is. I don't think you understand the situation. Yeah. You Americans have rules. You have rules. You took hostages. The rules changed. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. He's in Turkey. He's meeting someone in Trabzon airfield tomorrow night. 
Oh, oh, I swear, I swear I don't know. They only communicate with coded messages. This is not fuck. All right, let's load him up. He'll find his voice soon enough. Let me know if you need some help looking for it. Hudson, we're bringing you a present. He's in Trap Zone, Turkey. Kasim is out of the picture. How long before we get Harash? The team arrived in Turkey a few hours ago. They should be in position shortly. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. Priority is to ID a rush before things go hot. Mason, check it out. That's not him. Nope. Incoming truck. Left side. Get eyes on him, Mason. Arash might be in the truck. I can't make out his face yet. Fire, we need a positive ID. That's our man. Take him
hostages when he had his ah. chance! Ah. Ah. Hostages? It was never about the hostages. Ah. 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 His plan is already underway. Ah. You won't be able to stop him this time. Stop who? Perseus. Bullshit. Perseus is dead. Dead? <laughs> All this time and you didn't even know. <laughs> Perseus will watch the west. Hudson will want to hear about this. Let's sweep the tarmac for survivors and get to Langley. Who the fuck is Perseus? Nineteen forty-three. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. Nineteen sixty-eight. Vietnam War. Viet Cong soldiers orchestrated by Perseus attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. firebase. Five days ago, while on a mission, we acquired intel that Perseus is in play again and planning an attack on the West. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. Mr. Hudson, we're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, personally, I think he's nothing more than the Russian boogeyman. General Haig, allow me to introduce the man who is suited to respond to that. CIA clandestine special officer, Russell Adler. He's one of the few people who even come close to capturing Perseus. Uh, Mr. Adler, why should we take this Perseus threat seriously? You don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? Sir, every time Perseus has come into play, it shifted the balance of the Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is gonna happen. Something that will affect the free world. Mr. President. Sir. Mr. President. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell Adler. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? Is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. Most likely illegal. If the press gets a hold... What the hell are you talking about? You know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. There is no higher duty. There is no higher honor. And while few people will know of your struggles, rest assured, the entire free world will benefit. I know you won't fail us. This is Hudson. How long until we have a lead on Perseus? They're about to get started. Adler's in West Berlin. He should be at the safe house soon. Do you trust him? <laughs> I'm not the one you should be asking, Black. What about his team? It's a strong group. He chased down Sims, Azalea, even pulled some strings to get Helen Park from MI6. We'll get them Mason and Woods soon. I'm not so sure about Park. She and Adler have that business from before. Of course he wants her there. And the new one. Well, well don't get me started. That's the one we need to keep our eyes on. Bell, welcome to West Berlin. 
We've got a job to do. Mark? Adler? Bell? Let's get started. There's been a surge in Russian chatter in the last 48 hours. The CIA and the DOD are tapping their inside sources for anything substantial. So far, there are no leads on Perseus. MI6 has come up empty-handed as well. And we'll have to start somewhere. So we're going back here. Vietnam, 1968. One of our closest encounters with Perseus. Shit. Some part of me always knew that mission wasn't done with us. Pull up everything we've got on the attack in Da Nang and run it past Park. She'll cross-reference it with MI6. We're looking for code names, encrypted transmission, Russian activity with NVA, anything that could be a lead. You got it. Bell, this is where you come in. We needed the best of the CIA and SOG, and that's exactly why I requested you again. Head to the evidence board. We'll retrace our steps through Da Nang. Anything that could give us a lead on Perseus. All right, Bell. We're going back to Vietnam. First time Perseus pinged our radar. It was late January 68. We were a joint CIA SOG task force embedded within the 3rd Marine Regiment near Da Nang. SOG was there to sniff out Soviet activity. Word had it Russian operatives were active in the region. Perseus had no known presence in Vietnam. That changed at Da Nang. Somehow Perseus knew about Operation Fracture Jaw. Fracture Jaw? That one sure went sideways. We launched out of Camp Haskins. Yeah, I'll never forget that shit. Good. We want those memories. No details too small. A face, a name. We're looking for anything that can lead us to Perseus. This feels like looking for a needle in a haystack, in a field of haystacks. Maybe, but that needle's somewhere. Remember, we had a job to do. Fracture jaw. That one sure went sideways. Bell. It's time to wake up. It's a great time. Welcome to another day in the life of Camp Haskins, a little oasis in the middle of this godforsaken shitstorm. You're pretty safe here. Hey, Butcher. How's the arm? Still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Sims, you know, reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yep. That's why I wanted all up here. Bell, you're with Sims. You usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. FOB4 Ripcord is holding a vital asset that Charlie wants real bad. What kind of asset are we talking about? The kind you don't ask about. Ripcord has been taking a hell of a beating. So it's our job to secure the asset and get the fuck out. Relax, we got fast flyers providing combat air support for this mission. It'll be a walk in the park. Headsets on. All birds check in when ready. Badger Niner 1, good to go. Badger Niner 2, clear to go. Badger Niner 3, rotors up. All birds, go, go, go. Crank up and pull pitch. 
All birds are in the air. You all sitting comfortably? Oh man, Adler? Why do I get the feeling you about to give us some bad news? Because you're a smart guy, Sims. But the news isn't bad. In fact, it could be very, very good. The asset of Ripcord is going to have to wait a little while. We're breaking off from the Armada, taking a detour. And that's good because... A source tipped us off that there may be a heavy hitter in town. A Soviet operative known as Perseus. Oh, shit. Appreciate the enthusiasm, Sims. If our source is right, we could be looking at an Intel gold mine. First time Perseus pinged our radar. Approaching the village now. Yeah, roger that. Moving to establish an LZ. RPG! Talk two, let him up! There! In the bell tower! Bell. Let's do this. Bell, grab that comms log. Let's see who the fuck they've been talking to. Mission accomplished. We have the intel. Let's bug out. Good work. Hang on to that intel. We're coming in to pick you up. All right, let's go rejoin the Armada and get this fucking asset.
Watch yourselves. Roger that, Ripcord. You Adler? Mac Vsog? Yeah, yeah, just hurry the fuck up already. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me. Thank Bell. He's the one who just snagged up the fucking phone book full of Soviet intel. Let's go. Now. Godspeed, Commander. A fucking nuke? Are you fucking kidding me, Adler? It's a failsafe. That's all you need to know. We that desperate already? Not yet. Somehow, Perseus knew. Sims! Bell, you okay? We're okay! Fuck! Bell, let loose of that goddamn turret before we're overrun! We can call this a success, Sims. At least the nuke didn't go off. More importantly, we got intel on Perseus. Told you we had a job to do. It ain't done yet, not by a long way. Yeah. How did the memory exercise go? Well, to hear it from Adler, it's working. Bell remembered finding that encrypted intel in Vietnam and has almost finished decoding it. Anything useful in there? Some names, apparently. Possible leads. Park is trying to connect the dots. We don't have much time. Does the team know about our mishap in Berlin yet? No, but if it's connected to one of those names from Bell, they'll find out soon enough. You won't let that happen, Hudson. Don't say anything more than necessary. That's never been a problem for me. We finished analyzing the names Bell acquired at Da Nang. One in particular stands out. Anton Volkov. He's a Russian arms dealer working out of East Berlin. Admittedly, his connection to Perseus comes as a surprise. We've got killer capture orders on Volkov. So if we can't get to Perseus, we'll get to his men. Close off his resources, force him out of hiding. Mason and Woods are still wrapping up business in Kiev. Which means Volkov is ours. Gear up, and we'll move out. We'll talk on the Here drive, Bell. MI6 has been tracking Volkov for several years. It is my strong preference that we attempt to capture rather than kill him. 
He holds answers to a great many questions. Your preference has been noted, Agent Park. Volkov heads the Russian mob that moved into East Berlin once the wall went up in 61. This guy has connections to cartels throughout Europe and the Americas. Neutralizing him will not only hurt Perseus, but the global syndicate. He's a big fish. And here's our little fish, Franz Kraus. According to MI6, he's one of Volkov's information couriers. He has a drop with Volkov scheduled for tomorrow night. We'll infiltrate East Berlin via the U-Bahn. The ghost station on the other side of the wall has the access point we need. From there, we'll watch Kraus as he enters the city. Once Volkov shows his face, it's killer capture. still patrol these abandoned stations. Patrol ahead. We can use a train to slip past. Weiter für die Bahn. Ich suche immer meinen Ausweis. Das ist Sperrgebiet. Sie sind verhaftet. Runter auf den Boden. Halt, halt, halt. Beruhigen Sie sich. Wir finden dadurch sicher eine Lösung. Wir Kopf. öffnen das Feuer, wenn Sie... Now. Was zum... Nice work. Let's clean this up. Kraus should be coming through the checkpoint soon. Let's get to the rooftop. Park, Lazar, we're almost in position. Copy that. Come on, this way. Careful of the spotlight. Lock a place down, I'll give them that. Keep an eye on that checkpoint. Kraus will be coming through anytime. Look for Kraus with your camera. Damn. 
Security's even tighter than usual. If they detain Kraus, he could miss his meeting with Volkov. Good job, that's our man. That's Kraus. Kraus just crossed the wall. What's your status? The Tsar and I are at the exfil point, awaiting your arrival. Roger that. Our intel says Kraus and Volkov will meet at the bar across the street. Meet Hudson's contact inside. She'll have a blue umbrella. I'll stay out here and watch the street. Wie schön, dass Sie es geschafft haben. Krause setzt die Table over my right shoulder. didn't reveal much. He said you're after Volkov? Kraus is ex-Stasi, so don't let his wholesome appearance fool you. The man is a killer. Who knows? The man's like a ghost. I would guess no more than a day. One of my informants was picked up in a random sweep just two blocks from here. The Stasi must assume they are more nearby. I would ask a favor of you. He will not hold up under torture for long. We need him rescued. All silenced. They're holding him here. Danke schön. Heads up, Bell. I think Volkov is walking in. I've been monitoring a, a nearby KGB field house. I, I don't know how they found me. I, I've done everything by the book. Thank you for saving my life. I'll be waiting to hear from you. What's the hell? Scheiße! That's your little profile, Bell. God help us all. Follow me. Stay quiet. We don't want the locals riding us out.
Mark's in the electronics store right across the street from Krause's place. I was gonna pick her up some necklace from the Brom Bar, but closed already. Park is just up ahead. We're back. A car pulled up near Krauss's building a few minutes ago, but I didn't have a good angle to... Just a moment. Krauss is on the telephone. Bell, get eyes on Krauss. What do you think, Lazar? Sounds like Volkov wants Krauss's briefcase. We should place a tracker in it. The case will lead us straight to Volkov. One of us can sneak into Krauss's apartment. Avoiding Krauss and his wife might be the greater challenge. Bell volunteers. While he's doing that, I'll check around the exterior for any unwanted guests. Park, you can keep an eye on us from here. I'll try to give you my best angle. Lovely. Stasi are stopping everyone. Be careful. Bell, I saw Krauss writing in the ledger. See if you can find it. Bell, if you're spotted by Krauss or his wife, the mission is over. You can track the wife if you have to, but Krauss must go to the meeting. I'm about to phone Krauss's apartment. Get ready to enter. Tut mir leid, hier gibt es keine Freya. Edda, suchst du mir meinen Schirm? Ich gehe in ein paar Minuten. Ja, Franz, er ist hier im Wohnzimmer. Ich lege ihn neben die Tür. Papa, kommst du? Mama, ich bin in meinem Deckel. Krauss ist leaving his office. Hide. Ich bin in ein paar Minuten oben, Und Wilhelm. Und Zähne. Ich komme gleich Shit. auf. We missed the kid. Don't let Krauss see you. every time he enters that room. Have a look around. You're running out of time. Find the briefcase. I've lost a visual. Then you let Perseus know I captured him. We have greater killer as well. Her own colleague Greta her out. You spineless piece of shit. I I'm sorry, Greta. The KGP's pockets are deeper. Uh, finally. Perseus has a large bounty on your head. She 
she gets it easy. Do not tempt me to bring out my toys. I will ask again. Who do you work for? What kind of fool are you? You think you will die with dignity here? You are damned ones. Only a grave that you're a hunter. I'll secure the case. Get Volkov. You did the right thing. One of Perseus's men off the board. Is it? I wanted him alive. MI6 could have gotten so much more out of him. Can't win them all. Now let's get the hell out of East Berlin. The information from Volkov confirms their worst fears. Perseus smuggled a nuclear device through East Berlin. We can't be certain of that yet. He has it. I'm sure of it. We found encrypted geo-coordinates with Volkov's nuclear intel. An unpopulated region within the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. An aerial recon run revealed this. I want to know everything that's going on inside this building. We'll need the others for this one. Mason and Woods will join us from Kiev. Bell, you'll infill here with Woods. Mason and I will be standing by for an extract. Park will handle comms. We have no idea how large or prepared their forces will be, so use discretion if you have to engage. It's time we took a peek behind the Iron Curtain. I'm not picking up any extra chatter. You're in the clear, Woods. Copy that, Park. Stay on comms. Keep Mason and Adler on standby. Let's go. The base is just over the next ridge. Get in, learn what you can, and get out. Shit, Park. I plan to stay a while. See the gulag. Do that after we learn what Persis has planned. Look at that monster. Reds could be hiding anything inside. Snap a picture. Ops will want to see this. Right. Time to get our hands dirty. I'm seeing guards. I am. Choose your target. On your mark, Bell. Two more out of the truck. Holy hell, where'd you learn to shoot like that? Take point and head down the slope. I'll hang back and cover. Snap pictures of anything that looks important. Maps, blueprints, whatever you can find. You're welcome. You lost something. Park, Bell found us a way inside, but we don't got a lot of time. Then get moving. No arguments here. Be ready. Could be a thousand reds on the other side of this door. Cover me. Not a fucking word, Bell. The hell is this place? It's as 
Spetsnaz training course. Made to look like fucking any town USA. Oh shit, we're starting. Fuck, let's move! They want a live fire drill? Let's hook these fuckers up. Advance! That elevator leads straight to the control tower. Grenade! some kind of live fire drill. Place is crawling with reds. We're still looking for intel. Bloody hell. I'm putting Mason and Adler on standby for extract. She sounds mad. Does she sound mad? <laughs> Looks like their command center. Come on. Jackpot. Computer central. Let's see what the reds are really up to. Bell, hop on that terminal. Start poking around. Welcome to the Soviet People's Warfare Analysis Office. Operation Greenlight. Restricted access. What the fuck is Operation Greenlight? Bell, can you hack into that? Of course there's a password. Look around. These Reds ain't that smart. Maybe there's something on the desk. Nice. We confirmed it. The nuke smuggled out of Berlin is a green light asset. It's one of ours. If that gets out... No one will know. Not even Adler's team. The stakes are too high. High is an understatement. We're talking about an American nuke hidden beneath Berlin. I want to make sure you're committed, Hudson. The play's been called. The ball's in motion. Well, if the asset learns the truth... You're worried about truth now? I'm concerned about control of the asset. If we can't control the asset, we end the asset. Game over. I'm grabbing a copy. This doesn't make any sense. Percy's infiltrated a CIA nuke program, codenamed Operation Greenlight, run by Hudson. The stolen nuke is American, and Hudson fucking knew. Shit, time to go. I can't fucking believe it. Park, come in. Park. Hudson lied to us. He fucking lied to us. What, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Greenlight. That's what Perseus is after. And Hudson has his fingerprints all over it. What's your breaking up? Just get the hell out of there. to block in the exit. We're gonna have to punch through him.
Yes, sir, I'm on it. You knew the nuke was from green light, didn't tell us! What else are you hiding? Maybe I can knock the truth out of you. You might want to rethink that, Woods. Everybody stand down. This little pissing match isn't gonna help us catch Perseus. Why didn't you tell us it was an American nuke? He needed us to clean up his mess. The bastard's been lying to us all along. It's not a lie. It's an omission of fact. That's what you do best, isn't it, Hudson? Manipulate people. Tell them your own version of the truth. There is no truth. Only who you choose to believe. Adler knows all about that. Don't you, Russ? Operation Greenlight. What is it? Tell us everything. Back in 58, the arms race was in full swing. Eisenhower was convinced if the Reds moved on Europe, we couldn't respond quick enough. So he authorized Operation Greenlight, a top secret program that placed nuclear bombs in every major European city. The ultimate countermeasure to a Soviet invasion. 74, the bombs were upgraded to high-yield neutron bombs, capable of terminating personnel without damaging infrastructure. Thousands dying in a flash. And you're talking about fucking infrastructure. How's that for civilized? We kill the people, but preserve the buildings. We're trying to preserve our way of life. How long have you known about the missing nuke? One of the green light nukes went offline eight weeks ago. We suspected it was Perseus, but couldn't confirm it. So we saw the photos you brought back from East Berlin. So, there's an American-made nuke in the wild. And once Perseus detonates it, the United States becomes global enemy number one. We wouldn't have this problem if you'd done your job. Killed Perseus in Vietnam. Careful, Hudson. Next time, I might not stop Woods. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park, anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau. I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this, Mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants at Yamantau, I want it more. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio when we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. 
Da. If they win this season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. That's our inside man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar fool you. The beach was kosher enough. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Hell, he buried half. Heads up. Scout's on the ridgeline. We should drop him now before we get any closer. Good kill. Damn, Mason. Little pent-up aggression? Look who's talking. Shit, this looks dicey. But hey, it's good enough the Reds. Time to pay Ivan a visit. Piece of cake. Let's go down. Clear! Push inside! I think we're in the clear. Damn. Look at this place. Prepping the mainframe for extraction with a crane. We find the crane, we find the mainframe. I went first last time. Why change it up now? Whatever. Lost my damn gun. You're going first next time. I see a tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Station. Sure. Woods. <sighs> Great. Mason, do you read me? Mason, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. You gotta be close. You made. I'm surprised the entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. You've been busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, Chief. You see any dig sites? Bingo. Map says that crane's hanging right over the atrium. Puts it in spitting distance of the old computer room. There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. That's where we need to go. Excuse me? My, my winch? <laughs> they got a crane? Sorry, we you got a chopper. Up.
Hudson. We finished analyzing that mainframe that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names of sleeper agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe he's operating without authorization. I'll let Adler know, but we're going to do this the right way. We're not going to do it anymore. Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? I jumped off a roof in Calcutta back in 75 while chasing a Soviet agent. The jump was successful. The landing, not so much. Advice? Always make sure you know where the utility poles are. No. MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours. Supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Okay. Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep, it's a long way to Moscow.
Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Oh, is that right? Well, at least you're not hiding behind Adler. I'll grant you that. Now what is it? That's on a need-to-know basis. And from where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantown. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это писал с пол Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Did you get access to the bunker? It's always a problem. Solve it. Not yet. I know you have this under control. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled for Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. He knows too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Good man. Now I know why Hudson thinks so highly of you. We'll meet you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the Central Committee. I'm sorry, we'll just have to come back tomorrow. Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated from the inside. The trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. Not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Comrade Belikov, as head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this mole. How has that gone? <laughs> uh, 
I am not a patient man, Bilikov. Or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. <coughs> Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, you Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? <clears throat> Comrade Belikov, my apologies. Even your bunker access has been revoked. We can't be too cautious, can we? Secretary Gorbachev, I believe it would be best if only General Charkov retains his bunker key for now. Very well. See to it. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. The traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. <laughs> I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. It's happening. So. I have to get a bunker key for Adler. He'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Cherkov now has the only one. How can I help you, sir? I'm sorry, Comrade Belikov, but Zakayev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakayev would have my head on a pike. How important is pursuing this lead to you? Ah, a Cuban cigar would really distract me. I'm sure you could find a personal stash in one of the offices. Good day, sir. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. My servant? Heather will be pleased. Now I need to focus on the bunker key. It's not easy being a double agent, huh? Sir, what can I do for you? Wonderful. I'll let you in. But this never happened. Sir. Sure. What do I get? 
Let us jerk over. What can I do for you, Comrade Belikov? The General will be questioning a prisoner today, but should be available most of the time. <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready to meet with him. I have a chance to kill Cherkov. Kravchenko's office will have the poison I need. Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. Help. You need my help. Save your breath. Ivanov won't cooperate. Yet. I should find leverage in the records room. KGB has his wife and daughter's abductions already planned. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. What? What does my family have to do with any of this? Yes, anything. Please, what do I need to do? Kill him. Uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. Belikov, I just heard the most amusing thing. Let's chat once I'm finished here. Comrade, how's our friend doing? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have much to say. Huh. We'll see about that. Citizen Ivanov, I trust you're enjoying your accommodations. Be advised, we have a situation in the holding cell. Yes, sir. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. What happened? You're really not How can I help you, sir? Love me. Adler's team will need uniforms to get past it here. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Belikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately! Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. What about uniforms? Shh, sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. are no good to us, bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел мне за какую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? 
Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. Here, our weapons and key card are in the bag. Come on, this way. Let's run the bunker on our own. Ты слышала генерального секретаря Бежни? Нет. Что случилось? Ему сделали операцию. Сердце. Надо мне было повесить еще одну золотую звезду. Товарищ. Морщи опустишь нас. Ладно. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. И куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Вайт он я нем кобиностей. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех, без исключения. Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. После Вичи далеко. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Take us down. Когда вы прибыли? Ах да, разумеется. Кто ваш командир? Я не расслышал. Какое совпадение? Я как раз к нему на прием. Обязательно передам ему привет от вас. Gear up. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. Прежде чем Кравченко успел. Оружие на зерно запретное. the gas can in the bed. Good. Let's get to the vault.
There's the vault. Open the door. I've got your back. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. I've got contact! We're running out of time, pal. We're cutting through. We're almost through the door. Get ready. Here they come. Time for plan B, Bill. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or die. When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. <laughs> Up top. They are on full alert, knocking the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. There are heavy weapons by the other building. We need to arm ourselves. Try to make There's the gear. Southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitting a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell.
about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlock, Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team? Wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Woods! Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee, Hudson. May I have a word? Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. In exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, sky hook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. Fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Team right. Take your men around back. Copy. Copy that. Let's move! What did these poor bastards do? Hell of a reward. They've got closed-circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Let's Whoa. move. Get in there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Bell, canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> 
Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us, escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! And we're gonna get on a reinforcement circle in this compound. Let's go! I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call beer. Fuego de supresión! Be proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Ground team, this is Skyhook. His zone is hot as hell. Can we let him assist? That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground team, Skyhook. Roger that. Clearing the roof now. That's a hit. Bullseye. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line, now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! It's time! Take cover! Shit! My legs! Contact in T I minus can't. 10. 9. The eight, 7. 6. Move your ass, Bell. 5. We're nearly four, out of time! 3. 2. a goddamn fiasco. You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. Bell. 
I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. Going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have to. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam. One more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another weapon. The remaining VC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so you took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Get down! Get down! They see. He's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. Cover me! Uh, thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow with you. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet <laughs> Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker.
Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. Somewhere on the other side. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. He stirred up a hornet's nest. We chopper somewhere. Roger that. Chopper is Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. Path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Reports at the bunker across the bridge. God damn it, Bell, we're running out of time. You went left at the Right. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Open it. Oh, 
Park, give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stable. Heart rate is coming down now. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume survive another round. Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Bell, go into the bunker now. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. 
it appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves traps on his stopping in Duga, this you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, 
we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line. To make sure the line's still there in the morning. heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. 
We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. We stopped him. Those towers are history. What's your situation down there? Come in. Woods, have you found them yet? Over here! Give me a hand! Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus. And those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azale's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies, we may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which, of course, we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There is more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, 
We need to help each other. Bullshit is what your whole life will amount to if you don't come clean. Tell us where Perseus is. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Dugo alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. I don't think so. You're still holding back on us, and we are gonna get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. on, we've got a job to do. You got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Greenlight Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bill. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Duga. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Adler. Right. Yeah. We'll leave with...
Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler. Still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We didn't see anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. Mind giving me a light? should have been put down long ago. You remember my face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation order. 
I think you deserve this moment, comrade. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold, but that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. <laughs> As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Mm, yet, for humanity, their eyes will be as clouded as ours once were. Come. There is still much to be done. green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javali. He fell into the hands of your former CIA friends. Kasim is too soft. I will need you to personally supervise his erasure. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov. He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. As for the rest, it was a pleasure eliminating them by your side. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future, one completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created radio disruptions worldwide. 
Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine, the Duga Radar Array. It's an over-the-horizon radar system, big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long-range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev, between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. It's nothing but thick forest for miles around. A perfect hiding spot for Perseus. We'll have to drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Adler, still seeing no activity from our side. Same. I haven't seen shit. All right. Everyone converge on the gate. You sure you're not forgetting something, Bell? There's nothing here. This can't be the right place. We ain't seen anything on our side either. It's him! He fucking lied to us! That true, Bell? You pull us out to the middle of nowhere Russia so Perseus can detonate those nukes? What kind of fucked up logic is that? What a waste. You actually could have done something with yourself, kid. There's no winner here, Bell! You've just dragged everyone into the loser column with you. I'd let you walk back to Perseus, but I think I'll spare you the regret instead. Why am I not fucking surprised? Time's up, kid. I guess I'll finish this job myself. You wanna load up the body? Fuck if I care. Leave it for Perseus to find. Get Hudson on the horn. We gotta warn the president. How many green light nukes did he detonate? All of them, Mr. President. Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi fell into CIA hands. He is far too soft. I will need someone to handle his erasure. It is a shame we lost Anton Volkov. 
He was our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not prove so great a blow. Eliezer Azale perished in Cuba. We will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets will be a distraction no more. The others, however, are still out there. I will finish them all off myself if I have to. With the West in chaos, our key agents within the United States are in place and ready for the next phase of our plan. Now that Europe is in disarray, our agents within their respective governments can help craft Europe's future, one completely aligned with the interests of the Soviet Union. My friend, we are just getting started. <laughs>